second here. I'll find her again. would build a new queen. So she would be, she has kind of a peanut shaped cup that she would be born in. And the bees will actually, if the queen's not happy, if they're not happy with their queen, they will actually um, take an egg and they move it. And actually they'll take th four or five eggs and they'll move it and they'll feed it lots of royal jelly. But we can only have one queen per hive. So the first queen to hatch will go along and sting the other bees and uh, kill off the other queen cells. If they all hatch at the same time, there's a bee war, and the bees will actually go along and sting each other. Um, the strongest queen bee will win. Okay, I'm just gonna find you some brood, so you can see lots of larva. I'm just gonna give them a little smoke, keep them a little bit happier. into the fields because the farmers hire us to pollinate. If you had bees at home, you would probably extract once or twice a year and you would take the honey out of the two uh, super boxes. We don't take honey out of the brood chamber because the bees, we like, it, they need honey too, right? Because they collect it for their food. You always have to be very gentle with them. Otherwise, they remember your smell, and if you're mean to them, when you go back in that hive, they'll be mean to you. Okay, so give them a good puff of smoke so they all go back in their hive when I put it back together so we don't squish anybody. Is there anything else in there you needed to film? No, this is great. Thank you. That's what the bees will glue the house with together with. So it's very sticky. Okay, use my super muscles here. Here. Come on, guys. Of course, a few are gonna get squashed, unfortunately. Sorry, girls. Smoke just 
and they're done. All right, so there's a lot of bees here. Lots of bees. Very cool. Learned a bunch of stuff today. Wearing a bee suit. Having a lot of fun. Haven't gotten stung yet, but I've got my Benadryl in my pocket just in case. <laughs>